the only antidote. Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. This week, we are going to consider the Apostle Paul's writing in his epistle to the Galatians, Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 26. A very interesting passage and a very important passage. Paul has written, or Paul wrote this epistle to the Galatians primarily to help them understand that uh, we as believers do not need to live in subjection to the law. Uh, we have been set free from the law, but now we have a different way of living, which is a life in the spirit. And so in this passage in Galatians 5, 16 to 26, he highlights some important aspects of this life in the spirit or what we refer to as walking in the spirit. And so we want to uh, try to understand uh, the, the, the insights, the truth that the Apostle Paul, uh, that God through the Apostle Paul is revealing to us here in this passage uh, so that you and I can learn how to walk in the Spirit. So we begin with verse 16, as Paul says here, walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now, there are two parts to this. What, first of all, what does it mean to walk in the Spirit? And then the outcome. If I walk in the Spirit, I will not be submit, subject to fulfilling the flesh, the lust of the flesh. We'll talk about these two. To walk in the Spirit means to walk, to, to live a life that is controlled or is under the leadership, under the guidance, under the influence of the Holy Spirit. That my spirit is under His leadership. That means I am living my life from Him, out of Him. He becomes the source and then I live out of that. So I'm walking in the Spirit. I'm walking yielded to the Holy Spirit. I'm walking submitted to the Holy Spirit. I'm walking under His influence. So that's what it means to walk in the Spirit, to live submitted, yielded, and under His influence. Then I'm living my life in the Spirit. I'm walking in the Spirit. And when you and I as believers live life like this, that means we live submitted, yielded, and under the influence of the Holy Spirit, Paul tells us here, we will not fulfill. That means we will not yield, we will not be submitted or subject to the, the uh, lusts of the flesh. That if the flesh is not only just referring to the physical body, but it's referring to the ungodly evil desires of the body and the mind. So that's what the flesh represents, the ungodly desires, the evil desires. He says, if you're walking in the spirit, you're going to live as an overcomer to over the things, the ungodly desires of the flesh and of the mind. Isn't that that is the antidote to living a life above the ungodly desires, the lust of the flesh and of the mind. It is to walk in the spirit. So I want to encourage you and me, let us walk in the spirit. He will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we submit, we yield, and we choose to live every moment of every day under your influence, under your guidance. And help us to walk in the Spirit. We know that by your empowering, we will overcome all the ungodly desires of the flesh and of the mind. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.